Lifting family, welcome back. All right, so Oliver introduced the video and we have a review. So this is something that I was, I'm really looking forward to. So my son Liam is in robotics and we actually have a state competition coming up next week, uh, 15th, somewhere around there. So one of the things that we need to do is make sure that Oliver has something to do while he's in robotics. And usually what ends up happening is I end up having to spend about $5 on some sort of new app uh, that keeps his attention. There's some free stuff, but at the same time, there's a lot of ads with those, and so he ends up clicking them. They become distracting, so ad free, $5. We have blockies. So this is going to be something that I think will work out really, really well based on what it is, what it does, and how it relates to his future. So there is a Lego League Robotics as well, and I really want him to do that. So I was looking for something on Amazon that would fit that criteria. So this is that. It is Lego-like, and there's also an app. So I did download the app on my phone, and it is pretty easy. It is Blockies, so B-L-O-K-E-E-S, and then I believe it's, yeah, the Botsies, so B-O-T-Z-E-E-S. So normally I'd Oliver open this, but I don't want to have the box tore up because we're going to need that. All right, you can pull it out. Whoa, we have instructions. I believe in the app itself, yeah, it tells us here so we can scan the QR code and it will start to give us the visual steps to build the dyno, which is gonna be perfect because for Oliver, what I am gonna to need to be able to do is kind of step away a little bit, look in on this and then make sure that everything's going well and then go back to, to being a mentor for the robotics portion. So what we have here is we have the customizable, uh, there's a customizable remote control, and then there is the, uh, the, the, the dyno that we're gonna be building. So it'll be a dyno that he chooses. We've got some instructions as well. I believe this probably would be to just build the base. So we're gonna have some options. We do have what looks like a triceratops in the directions here, but we're gonna get into the app. I'm gonna take some videos as it's going along with that. And then as far as the, yeah, we've got a little control stick here and we didn't get everything out of the box. Parts, parts galore. They're decent sized parts. They're kind of the size of Duplos, a pretty solid base. Ooh, cool. Yep, phone. That is the controller. So it does look like it takes Two AA batteries in here, and then two AA batteries in Whoa, here. Claw. Claw. All right, so phase two is getting this put together, having him choose a bot, and then I'll try to take some video clips of that, and then we'll come back and we'll see what we think, and maybe we can even see if the, if the bot moves around. So remember to like this video if you like videos like this, comment down below. Remember to also click that subscribe button. Let's go. All right, so it's not like a different month or anything like that. I just I shaved my face, so last night we are trying to get out the door to get to robotics, but Here's what we have. So I mean, this was really, really cool. It, I was really, really impressed. So with the with the app on the phone, Oliver was able to dive right into that in terms of being able to, to follow along with the app itself and to be able to follow along with the directions. So what I did was essentially help him get the parts kind of organized. And that's where just basically like separating them out based on color and then by shape a little bit, a little bit further that way but as long as parts look similar, that'd be my suggestion. So as far as the, the app itself, I mean, you have to use the QR code that's inside of here to be able to actually get into the, like the dyno design. So I saw in the parts packets that there was the QR code, which does not work, but if we get into here, it'll end up kind of loading up and then what it ends up showing you is essentially the, the direction. So then you can, it's really cool because you can kind of pan around and and see the the dyno kind of moving, and then when you select your your little character on the bottom, you just click you just click the build button, and then it gets into the dyno itself. We're just press, pressing play. I'm not sure why I can't talk, but we can kind of just pan and zoom around there. So really, really cool. Oliver was ecstatic. I've got a video of him kind of using this. 
Wow. Let's turn it on. I'm going to say that this is a win. I've actually posted about this because this is something that I am just super excited about. I'm super thrilled about with my son being in robotics, my older son being in robotics. Oliver put this together himself with without my help. And these I kind of had help with a little bit. There were basically some extra parts and there's some designs that you can kind of do. Some of them we just created on our own. But I mean, outside of that, we, we just got some really cool looking little bots here we've got some options within the app to where we can do more of like a t-rex type dino but i'm gonna say five stars fantastic gift i would definitely recommend getting this one we're right around the time where it's perfect to be able to, to pick this up as a, as a christmas gift so i would definitely be checking these out i will link it down below remember to like this video if you like videos like this comment down below if you have any questions i did not find any issues where i can just say hey here's a problem that i had with this so i mean these are, again, just fantastic. So remember to also subscribe to the channel. We appreciate all the subscribers. I would have Oliver, but he's actually upstairs having a snack right now. So outside of that, thank you for watching. And as always, keep pushing.